Hello everyone and welcome back to a new Navmesh Vehicle AI update and this one is actually uh, a request or a recommendation from one of the people on Discord, uh, one of my customers, that gave me a very great idea that I never remembered to do, which is basically, uh, instead of using the Navmesh to get a distance away from the wall so that the vehicles can go around instead of eating the edges, uh, he gave a very cool idea to actually use math uh, to offset those points instead of modifying the Navmesh. So now if I press P, uh, you can see that the nav mesh actually has a very very small agent radius and i set it uh, to one over here it's 300 still i don't know why there you go you can see it doesn't change anything um let me save that yeah now you can see that the nav mesh is very small and i'm gonna go ahead and open up the vehicle just to show you uh, what happens when i turn this feature off so this uh, feature is going to be over here uh, in the path off setting section of my component and by default, I'm going to leave it on, but I'm just going to disable it so you can see what happens if I have it off. Uh, actually, let me actually enable the uh, debug detection. There you go. So you're going to see that the points are going to, uh, sorry, I'm stupid, not detection. I want to debug, uh, debug uh, pet points. There we go. So if I press play, you can see that the points are going to be generating very close to the walls. That's because the nav mesh is there. And the vehicles are just going to eat the wall uh, because they can get around it. But with the system enabled, uh, you're going to see that the points are now going to be offset to the sides uh, with the nav mesh there. And it actually updates at runtime uh, based on the vehicle direction so that the points are always generating to the correct side. You can see that they can still use the nav modifiers here. And the points are actually going to update on curves. And you can see that they're still updating here and everything. So you can see that everything is working correctly and the vehicles are going to go around and that's perfect. Now, a lot of people uh, were having issues that uh, they needed uh, the AI to be, or the nav mesh to be close to the walls uh, for another type of AI, for example, humanoid uh, characters. And because of the system forcing the, uh, the nav mesh to be modified for the vehicles uh, was creating issues. Another issue was uh, because the nav mesh was further away, if the vehicles were pushed by the physics to go into an area where there's no nav mesh, they just lose the ability to navigate. So they stop and they can find a path. So hopefully the system is going to help heavily to um, negate that. Um, so yeah, that's everything that I wanted to do in this update. Again, thank you so much for that viewer, uh, not viewer, um, customer in this core that gave me the idea. Um, yeah, and I think this system is pretty cool. Now just to show you the other two, two settings here, you can see this is the path point offset multiplier. What, the, what does that mean? So there's a trace that uh, checks from the point to check for collision. And the multiplier is basically the distance where the point is going to be spawning away from that wall. So uh, basically 10, uh, as you can see, is that value uh, right there. And if I increase this, uh, you can see if I do, for example, 50, you can see that the points are going to get very, very far. So you can see that they're now they are generating almost pretty much outside of the, the area, which is obviously not very good. It still works, but it's not uh, recommended if you do it too much so just do it a little bit so 10 i think is a great value for the size of this vehicle but obviously this is going to depend if your vehicle is larger or smaller you can adjust that multiplier there and the trace object types here is just so uh what traces are looking for to scan so world static can be for example the ground and you can see that these walls here are of the type uh world static uh, but i believe if i set them to roll dynamic it will still work now, if you have special types of uh, object collisions, you can just add another one and add it here. For example, you can enable this to actually work on vehicles, which I do not recommend uh, because the vehicles themselves that generate the trace uh, are of the type of vehicles. And if you do this, uh, the trace will find the vehicle and, you know, obviously it's going to change the path. Now, this shouldn't happen very often uh, because the pads are going to be generating on the walls, not on the vehicle. But if the vehicle is nearby the object that wants to... Uh, to offset the path, then it can create problems. So just be careful with that. Um, and yeah, I think that's everything uh, for today. That's a very easy update to you know to show you. Uh, but yeah, I just think it's pretty cool. Again, thank you for that customer that gave me the idea. And yeah, if you guys uh, notice any errors or any problems, just let me know and I'll try to fix them. So thank you so much. Bye bye.